I don't think I'll ever recover. I'm talking about the last year. I guess. I don't think I'll ever recover. And nothing that bad even happened to me. I never even felt, I never even felt sufficiently exposed to take a single COVID test. So one of my weird nerdy things is when I want to know what I mean, I look at the words that I'm using. So when I say I will never recover, I am like, whoa, that's a big statement. What does that mean? What is recover? So I look it up. Recover and recuperate have similar, there's a PV shift and they are from the same root. Re always means back. So I'm not really a backward uh, focused or backward looking person anyway. So there's that. And then um, looking at cover, cooper, it's the same root as capture, so it means to take back, to have again, to receive again. Many people talk about wanting to get back, back to normal, back to the way things used to be. No, it wasn't very good. No, I don't want that. No, thank you. One of the things I won't recover from is that I feel the, what I've learned in the past year is, I suppose it's nothing new, but every time it's more and more shocking uh, that even in a pandemic, even when our democracy is threatened, people will not come together. People will absolutely refuse to be on the same side, even against a disease and even against losing our democracy. And I don't want the past, not just the past year, not just before the past year, but the past four years or, you know, basically most of my life, things haven't been so good. So I prefer to go forward. I don't want to go back. I don't want to take things back. I say, no, thank you. I won't be receiving that back.